Now, this is the agenda for today. So, it's about culture and attitudes about death, grief in Asian countries, uh, and the cultures of America. I'll touch a little bit on pet, and I don't have it up here, but I will add on about children. It's just time we'll talk, you know, about cases. Now, in the middle of all this, if you have some things you want to um, ask questions, uh, feel free to do that, like, you know. Uh, and now, it's kind of like the overview. Uh, I got this sort of line of thing because when I started doing presentations about stress and communications and culture in the workplace in industries, they kind of like this. They want to know what's going to happen. Is that okay with you? You want to know what's going to happen. In Gaelic, in Celtic, we are actually. We don't really care about what's going to happen. It's sort of like it's going to happen because it's going to happen, and so we don't we don't need to know. Sort of like we don't need to know, or we don't really care if there's a god. So what? Uh, but we will have a have a life that is pre present, pleasant. So we don't need to be thinking, oh, I'll do this and and that'll get me into heaven. You know? So so this in business, I discovered like there's a purpose for us to be here and some goals and objectives. Uh, and there's this thing called um, expected outcome. Um, in the California Psychological Association, I wanted to do a presentation in one of their conferences about how people come from a culture of, um, of a family and community. How do they fit into a system of individual psychotherapy? You know, that the whole family will go to counseling because it's sort of like if, uh, if one family member is sick, everybody is sort of affected by it. It's sort of like you just don't have a thing called the identified patient. And um, so what the California Psychological Association wanted from me was we need to know the outcome so we can approve it for uh, CEU units. And I said, if I give you that, it won't be Celtic anymore. <laughs> so they got a little upset with me. So that is that. Do you see kind of like even in the slightest thing, how culture is sort of like there right in the beginning? When your client comes in to see you, and they come from another country, and you ask them to sign a consent form, that is very foreign. To a lot of it is very foreign for me. Why? Because we come, many of us come from other countries, it's about, it's about the relationship between you and I, not what's written on a paper. It's about our trust and connection that's there. You know? So uh, we don't sign a paper to give you permission to talk to me or I give you permission. It's just going to happen or it's not going to happen. And so this idea of the consent forum was very, very difficult. In hospitals, they're still struggling a lot with that, about the consent forum, about, um, what's this new one? Uh, some patients are asked, uh, in case you die during the operation, who is going to take care of your, your stuff like, that kind of thing. This is very difficult for many. So um, how did that come about? Because in the emergency room, you learn a lot in the emergency room if you ever uh, hang around there, just a volunteer, you know. Is patient will come in and, um, you know, there'd be family members says, we need for you to sign here. Uh, well, why? And they'd be like this person, and their mother or father would be in the other room, like, we need to get right away. You, you know, we need to sign. Uh, and it was very hard work for how the, you know, the, per the person there that does that, how they would learn how to do that. And many times I would give this person a lot of tips. For example, if you just sort of like, oh, just sign here in the bottom where the X is. As soon as you've made the X, it's really not a good idea. Because you know what that can mean in another, in another um, culture? The X can mean that it's bad. 
because when something is put like that, it means it's not good. That the, the document is not good. So to hold, to please read it, then we keep it, and read it together. Sometimes read it out loud, read it together, and just each paragraph, this is what it is. And you see in the bottom where that line is, would really like for you to sign your signature and give today's thing. Then it's very different. You see, kind of like rather than put an X, sign the bottom. Or, you know, what they have. If you're buying a house, you initial 25 different places and you get to the bottom. 